Hello. How's it going? Let me just set this to be the thing. And grab chat so I can see chat. How y'all doing? It's uh been about a week since we played. Um the last time we played was actually last Tuesday, and then Saturday was the Ocarina stream. So We're in chapter 5, which is the lead-up to what I like to call Sad Boy Hours. So this is the point in the game where I'm going to do some procrastinating! <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, you finished Shim's... Everybody has clothes, pretty much. Alright, that's fine. Let's go into the quest menu, actually. And start doing some side quests. Mmm... <laughs> not doing that one. This one we could do, though. Where is that? I think that's in... Is it here? No, but I do have quests up here. So I guess we could go do these quests. Procrastination is fun, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not going to promise all side quests. But I am going to do whichever ones I feel like doing. Unless you guys hit that goal, in which case, then I'll do all of them. Okay, actually, I do want to go to the Fornis region. Let's warp here and see where the thing tells us to go. Oh, my shoulder. That sound. Yeah, I can't do anything with that right now. But I can go do this. Okay. Mm, those are on my level. I don't want to fuck with those right now. I want to go to whatever side quests I'm on. Hand over the required items to Pane Pane, who we found about a dozen hours ago. <laughs> Did friends bring moisturous things for Pane Pane? Yeah. Ah, Pane Pane, eternally grateful friends are good friends. Don't mention it, we're just glad you're okay. But actually, what happened? Why were you all passed out in a place like this? It's a story of great length, so Pane Pane choose not to tell it. Fair enough, that's fine by us. And I'll start when Pane Pane on way to Ferranis Hulk and on hillside where apprentice wait. Pane Pane fallen, belongings smash. Nothing except hammer, which Pane Pane carry on back to get taken and broken by monsters. Pane Pane flat broke. Pane Pane on last legs, walking, walking, and no drop to drink. Oh, so you are gonna tell us, okay. Chill Shield Apprentice of Pane Pane must be looking forward to meeting. Thanks to friends, Pane Pane is saved. We'll rest a teensy bit more and then go see Apprentice. Well, don't overdo it, the roads are dangerous. No worry for Pane Pane, legs of Pane Pane are very fast for running away. That won't, you do much, that won't do you much good if you're horizontal. Anyway, Pane Pane save now, and Pane Pane pay you back. I thought you were flat broke. Hmm. He's going to the hillside for honest Hulk where Shill Shill is waiting. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Okay. 
you do that, I can do this. Look to seek seek and trade and I'll find coins for items. Where are you? All the way over here. All the way over here. <laughs> Hello, seek seek. What should we get? Um. Mm. Eh. I have capped out silvers, so I wanna... That's really good, but I I'm one gold coin short. This is very important and something that I would love to have. But for now... Mm. This couldn't hurt. Master Pond exceeding happy since friends came. Four friends leave. Please say hello to Master Pond. Hello, Berber. Oh, friends having exciting adventures out in the world. I guess so. Oh, Berber, glad to hear. Berber, remember thrill of finding first Napon coin. Berber, not stop grinning for seven whole days. Berber wants friends to feel same way. Berber, hidden more Napon coins than friends can count. Friends must search a whole Ionius with great excitement. Of course, rewards will keep on coming. Rewards friends ask seek seek tell answer please to have more having more thrilling fun Ray right, learns that Berber hid Nopon coins in all corners of the world if you find any give them to seek seek for some nice rewards Okay Wish upon a clover e Colony 30 Faster to go to the entrance. Okay. Aaron and his and her team haven't contacted us ever since they started their expedition expedition into Dana Desert. Maybe they think we're still at war. Hello, Ven. Oi, you. Little Betty told me you collect fortune clovers. You could say that. It's the colony's pilots, especially the fourth squad. They're just so reckless. Just yesterday, someone. How many more will we lose before I get a full seven? Oh, he's collecting them for the pilots. Are you a collector too? If so, you'll want to go to Lapral Knoll. They're often found around there. Sweet, Ta. Have you seen the third unit's slipnesses? They're late coming back, and I don't mind admitting I'm worried. I warned them time and again not to neglect their maintenance. Ugh, Aaron. Snuff it. Could you go out and see what's what? And see what Yuzad has to say about it? Got it all memorized. We've made some new friends. I've been hearing the officers flute around the living quarters lately. Radix Officer's successor shouldn't have been assigned yet, though. What's going on, I wonder? I asked that Nopon to fix the power frame. Where the snuff has it gone? You know Nopon loved to take long afternoon naps, right? Fancy toasty with armu steak. Ah, smell. I go with the usual fishy fillet. About armus. Alright. 
Oh, we did. There's still more I didn't grab. And Nabon's flute playing is ear bleedingly bad. Tell me about it. That was an off seer's flute being played, wasn't it? Why has Nabon got something like that? We're talking about escorting a thorax. That's a four e a Keats shop minimum. Yeah, or one centurus, and we'd be all set, you know. Favorite loveness Interesting news. Right, I think I got all of the Baldy. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna go look for parts too. Don't leave me behind. All right. First things first. Let's go out here. What's the? Guess. This would probably be the closest warp. The, Sapho the Saffronia tree. This is something decent, right? I hear howling. Come on, fill in that last spot. It's gonna bother me. I need to fill that in. Okay, thank you. What? Where are you having me go? Also, container. Let's just sneak a peek. Good thing we're in an area where everything is under level. Oh, it's down the ladder. That's what it is. I got you now. Did we ever do this one? Yeah, you you guys can sort that out yourselves. Okay. Down we go. Log, that'll give us a little bit more of a rank for our classes, which the only one close to being full is Tyon as um, the Eno class, what is it, whatever it's called. So trying to get uh, some levels up would be great. This looks like prime fortune clover country. All thanks to Ben, no less. Should we bring him one as thanks? Oh, good shout, love. After I've snaffled just one as commission. Oh, I'll help you find a clover uni. Banana also searching.
Okay. I had to. Not actually sword bash. <laughs> and he's already dying. Hey Ben, I found Fortune Clovers over at Lapel Knoll. Oh, good news. When work's calmed down, I'll go over and look for some. Yeah, actually. Here's one I picked earlier. Thank you for the heads up about the spot. Are you sure you don't mind? Thanks. That's three, I think. May all the Levenesses from Squad 4 come back unbroken. Just not for the pilots. What, those Lummoxes? All they're good for is breaking perfectly good Levenesses and competence. Ugh. Uh... Right. Got you. Right. Okay. What's next? Big friendly friends. Hmm. Go talk to Monica. The war room. Hey, Monica. Talk to us. Monica. Can we talk? What's up? Sounds ominous. We were hoping we could ask you about someone. Guernica, in fact. About Dad? Everyone in the city speaks so highly of him. But we still don't know a whole lot about him. I think we owe him that much. All right. Where do you want to start? You were brought up by him, right? So, we thought you'd probably understand him better than anyone else. Ha! <laughs> I wish that were the case. The Guernica Van Damme that I knew was a man that I always looked up to. He was always busy keeping the city together or fighting out on the front line. Always distant. After I chose a military life, he didn't even talk to me like a parent anymore. You mean... you weren't on very good terms? I got to know the man, I think. But not the father. I just thought... ...that we'd have more time together. Huh. Hey, boss. You're making the kids feel guilty. Ah, sorry. I don't blame you guys for any of this. 
dad, Guernica, died in the line of duty, trying to accomplish his aim. But that's not all. He died fighting for what he believed in, and he saw it through. Of that much, I'm sure. For what he believed in? Well, about that, there still might be a bit of unfinished business there. He sure was adamant about getting stuff home to people. Yeah, for certain. Sorry, what do you mean exactly? Personal effects from the deceased. Things that family and friends can remember them by. We don't leave any other mark behind that says we were here, you see? If there are people waiting for you, then you just want to leave something behind, whatever it may be. I was in the rear guard. I know just how dangerous that battlefield was. <laughs> Maybe it's better not to dwell on that. Hmm. But there are personal items that have been left behind, though, right? Huh? Maybe you'd let us do something to help out with that. It must be really painful for the people who never got the chance for closure. Yeah, right? I'm starting to get a handle on how they see things in the city. Sort of. But if there's something we can do about it, I want to try to help. I appreciate the sentiment, guys. But why go to all this trouble? Well, we'll get some closure from doing this too. We were losing friends every day. And before we became Uroboros, some of us used to be offseers. Guernica went to all that trouble for others. And when it happened, he was thinking of everyone waiting for him in the city. So I'd like to help his voice find its way. Hmm. Much appreciated. Speaking personally, good on you. Travis, could you pull up the tactical register? Roger that. Give me a moment. There's the data. We've got a list of deceased soldiers and the likely locations where they fell. Could you check out the waypoints around Alfeso Valley? That's some impressive precision. Kind of you to notice. See, that's the thing about us lost numbers. We just don't know when to quit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. It's up to you now. When you're done, could you meet me at the Remembrance Stones? Got it. You have my word. Alright, let's go. We have some uh, personal effects to go pick up. As soon as the game is like... Oh yeah, you can learn. I forgot about that. <laughs> it's been so long since it's been important. Alright, let's go collecting, shall we? Huh. Would you believe it? Listen for my Outstanding. Okay. I like how it's the Keves battle theme, even though we're fighting Agnes people. If only you didn't charge off on your own. All right. Oh, I'm dead. I'm no longer dead. Hey, 
Kim, how you doing? You haven't really missed much. You definitely should have been up earlier. Yeah, I'm, I was surprised to not hear from you all morning. Because, you know, we've been doing this consistently for a few weeks now. Why is everybody dead? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Switch. I want to switch. Liberty ring. Liberty wing, rather. There we go. For some reason, sleep feels the best after the alarm rings. Yeah, I could feel that. Liberty Wing is one of Uni's arts in her Ouroboros form. Uh, it revives all incapacitated allies. Which in this case was most of the party. I don't know what happens. <laughs> I looked away to read chat, I, come, I look back and the entire party is dead. What happened so far? Uh, I was like, I know nobody is here, so I'm not going to progress the story. I'm going to try to clear some of this stuff out of my, uh, out of my, my, uh, quest log until people start showing up. So ultimately nothing. <laughs> It is absolutely pointless to keep going, but we're going to try. And I'm not going to succeed. Mm, got it real close, though. But now everybody is uh, fairly healed, so... Right now we are doing the quest for talking to Monica in the war room. Sort of playing Baldur's Gate 3 again. I've gone to sleep consistently after 3 a.m. Jesus, Cam. Sometimes brute force is the answer. Yeah, no, you um, you need to not. There are signs of a huge detonation here. Maybe he got caught up in it. I'll see that his belongings are returned. You. Can I slip by these guys, or do I have to fight them? I can absolutely slip. Never mind. Alright, fuck them up. That's why you've been trying to curve that a bit. What, the staying up all night? <laughs> or the... <laughs> Good 
Cause that's a, yeah. You're a, mm. This guy is just getting fucking molly -whopped. It's very comical. Cause it's just a regular ass dude. Okay, I guess I'll fight. That was the wrong button. as if he was killed instantly. I'll return these personal effects. The zoo elf. I'm your guy. Mm. Are you kidding? I was just over here. Oh, that's the center of the fucking ring. Gotta be up here then, where that little search icon is. Which is being dumb again, how so? How come these are all the way out here? Guess they fell out of the leftness? We got this, we'll get your stuff back to your people. Alright, back to Sword March. Uh, by the Remembrance Stones. Can't pop bubbles or share your anniversary message. That's depressing. Why is it not working for you? That's so weird. Now, is that on mobile or on your computer? Because if it's on mobile, try your computer and see if that works. We've brought their belongings. Thanks. Means a lot. Can you lay them out here? Now you mention it, didn't Monica put an eye patch here? Yeah. That was Guernica's. What does it mean exactly? Placing people's belongings here? Uh, how can I explain it? Um, you guys have off-seeing, right? I guess this is our version of that. Off-seeing for city folk? Hmm. You got here first. Foss, we were waiting for you.
another year. Zuo, you made it back. Hiwa, you always kept such good care of this. Now look at it. I just wish that we could have talked more. But you're home now. Thanks to you, these people got a chance to say farewell to their loved ones. And I got to fulfill Dad's dying wish. Thank you. I hate loading screens in the middle of a cutscene. Finally home. <laughs> hey, what? These people, they weren't just sacrifices. They've entrusted us all with the future. As the founders did, looking back is not an option. So that was an upseeing. The sound of that music, it's really something else. I don't think anyone here will forget this day, as long as they live. The Fallen never got to win their battles, but maybe now they can get some rest. Yeah, finally. Speaking of, you ought to get some rest, too. You're gonna be pretty busy from now on. You said it, boss. Well, wait, just how busy are we talking here? <laughs> from now on, I'll be traveling with Noah's crew. Huh? But then who's gonna handle things in the city? You'll be here, won't you, Travis? Uh, like father, like daughter, eh? Dad spent his life on the front line, and I want to carry on that tradition. I understood that when I heard the Offseer's play. It has to be me. I have to carry on his legacy, fulfill his hopes. I'll fight for you now. Call on me anytime you need my help. Thank you. That's truly heartening. I hope we'll get to know each other outside of battle too. There's so much I'd like to ask you. About yourself, the city. No worries. A word of warning, guys. The boss's stories are long. If you've got time to rip on the boss, <laughs> I might just assign you some more duties, Travis. 
Oh. Well, at least I won't have to worry about the city while I'm gone. Just holler if you need me. We'll take you up on that. I mean, remember, she's been fighting um, Mobius for longer than us. Also, they can't go back to the Queen's Pods if they were never in the Queen's Pods in the first place. Which, the majority of the city dwellers have not ever been part of the Queen's system. The bereaved witness to the off-seeing ceremony and thank the party for everything they've done. Monica will lend you her help from now on. Why is Uni the inheritor of this? Class, Lost Vanguard. Role, Defender. Protects allies by deploying fields. Specializes in countering enemy attacks and can deal damage while guarding. What's up? I'll come again soon. Keep an eye on me, would you? Oh. Now let me check what her arts look like. I see a smash art, which is nice. Uh, but I do kind of need Tyon back because I don't have Topple right now. You need my help. So, Zeon, come back. I thought the off-seeing was to return them to the Queen. So, in the case of somebody who is already in the system, yes. But, again... The people of the city have never really been in the system, so they can't be part of that. How do I get to that? Why do they turn into sparkles? Because that's just the law of the world. That ha that part actually has nothing to do with the... Uh... Lost numbers are short on snipers, right? It's just that I've been considering changing my role is all. You're changing your blade again? Are you really sure you found the right role this time? Blades. This is some story. So, so the turning into light nodes like that don't really have anything to do with the queen rebirth cycle can kids like them really be over boris yes we've done a fine job so far haven't we Alright, up the ladder. Uh, the entirety of the Monica <laughs> introduction side quests. We have Monica as a hero now. Uh, I was waiting for you guys to get here before I continued the story. And now I spotted something that I want to get to. I cannot pro- I will not promise all side quests unless you meet the goal. But, I will do the ones that I feel like doing while I wait for you to show up on the stream days. <laughs> If you hit the goal, then uh, <laughs> that's a different story. Which, uh, there have been exactly 100 bits uh, sent towards that. Eventually, I will do the story. I told you, it's the ones that I feel like doing. 
Geeky asking big here. Friends in? Of course. Shine, are you in? I guess. Maybe we could try asking someone? Can we help you? Uh, Ouroboros! What do you guys say to a treasure hunt? Because we're about to go on one. What now? Yeah, right now. But I warn you, it's pretty hard. We were just looking for more people to join in too. But this special treasure hunt, only kids can play. Why does that matter? Who cares as long as we're all having fun? Right? Don't be such a stick in the mud. Anyway, you made it, and you're a grown-up, aren't you? So it's fine. Gigi is cut to quick. Well, if you need us that much, we'll help. We do. It'll be so embarrassing if we can't solve the clues. And there are so many. Please? Fine, you've twisted our arms. We'll help you a little bit, okay? Yay! Thank you. Very well. Gigi explained rules. These clue lead to three boxes which are all in city. Each person follow one clue and bring box back here, okay? What exactly are these boxes? Appearance and form is different each from other. Everything else is trade secret. But they're all marked with an X. It's good that you've marked them. Team of Ouroboros, get this clue. At foot of 15 lights. Eh, what's that meant to be? It's a clue, duh. I don't get it at all, though. Uh, what a faff. Okay, so what does foot mean? It's a box at the bottom of something? And then there's this 15 lights business. So what we're looking for is a lot of light sources, and theoretically, if we search at the bottom of it, we should find something. I wonder what it'll be. You save those brain for own clues. It takes some time, so get solving. Solving now! Okay, I'm definitely gonna find it. Yeah! We'd better get searching for ours, too, I guess. Yeah, let's try to find some lights that fit the bill. Standing behind kids in a dark alley, can we help? Sounds like something to kill with you. God damn you. Always nice to have more friends. Light source. Here's some lights, but not 15 of them. Yeah, so I spotted this in the corner. I was like, what's going on there? Is it a drug deal? No, apparently it's a treasure hunt. <laughs> Ooh, no X on this one at all. The real box has to be somewhere, though. A drug deal. It's a, cro it's a cover. I mean, we don't know what Gigi does in his spare time. My kids are buying crystal ether. <laughs> I mean, we don't know that they're not. Gigi. Outside thunder with noise of war, but inside the city happily safe. Gigi have eye patches, so Gigi need never leave home without. What? I didn't think Nopon had any need for eye patches. Gotta keep voice tones down, or Gigi will have to admit it merely stylish affectation. <laughs> Kiki is the Xenoblade Walter White. Guess they've never seen folks with wings before. They're the weird ones. Just stare back. Ooh, no X on this one at all. The real box has to be somewhere, though. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. F That's sixteen, though. But this is probably the one. Hey, do you think this is the box? It has an X on it and everything. At the foot of fifteen lights. 
So at the bottom of where there are 15 lights, we solved it. Looks like it. Let's go back to Rebelli Plaza then. That was 16. That was not 15. I counted it slow. Hang on. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh. Well, fuck you. Fuck off. All boxes are found. Everyone worked very hard. Well done. <laughs> we rock. I must have run around half the city. So what happens to the boxes now? Now is... Open boxes and enjoy contents. Yay, open the boxes! Open the boxes! Each box was opened. Hang on, there's notes in here. Let me see. 28756. Memory house. Capped. That's all of them. So then this is another clue. This one's even harder to get than the last one. That's why we had to find all of them in it. Put them together and they mean something. Look, join them up like this. Capped memory house. Like snow capped? But what would this memory house be? Could be the memorial hall? But what's above there? A road? Wait, I know! It's the Calum residential quarter. It has to be. I heard they've got spare places to stay up there. What? San, you're so clever. That must be it. Right. So what's this 28756 then? Some kind of coordinates to this residential quarter or something? Could be the flat number. Nah, I don't think there are that many flats. What if we move it around in the message? Probably not that complicated. Probably. I thought you were the one who designed these clues. Meh meh. But then who did? Kiki not at liberty to... I've got it. It's a key code. But the flat's got a door where you have to punch in a number to open it. That has to be it. Shiner, how are you so amazing? <laughs> in that case, it looks like we've somehow stumbled across our second answer. Kiki already say these very special clues. Kiki unable to solve myself. But Kiki, no, you capable to solve. Of course we can. Let's see if we were right. To the flats on top of the memorial hall. Shiner, away! Well, I've got no sparking idea who set this all up. Let's keep playing along for now. Kiki's clearly at a loss without us. Oh, if we must. That was your five below ID? <laughs> God damn you. Why does Lance have boobs? Because he's wearing the Ethel outfit. That's probably the only reason. Because everybody looks like they have big boobs <laughs> when they're wearing the Ethel outfit. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. You need that outfit. Why do you want big boot for research? <laughs> okay. I guess that makes sense. Do you look at that? It really worked. But there's nothing here. I don't think that's quite right. There's a note. Return to the founder, bringing tribute. Meh. It's the next clue. How many of these are there? Kiki think this last one. How could you be sure? Because Kiki no answer of clue. I think I know it too. Founder must mean like the statue of the founders, right? But not correct. Founder mean person who start thing. So it... Person who make clues. It point to friend of Kiki. What about this tribute thing? That easy. A thing that is favorite of founder. And founder like? 
torpedo wrap. Boo, this is just grocery shopping. It not at all. Real question behind this is a difficult question that Gigi not able to answer. Gigi need help of everyone to solve last clue. We could do it. We still want to get the treasure. Yeah, we'll do it. Easy peasy. Well, we ain't gonna leave you high and dry after coming this far, are we? Gigi very grateful. First, we need torpedo wrap from best torpedo wrap smith, Gigi No. I mean, I've if you if I go and put the um here. So you see Noah, right? Right? If I put him in the flash fencer outfit, Noah looks like he has some boobs too. So it's not just Lance; it's everybody. <laughs> well, that's less interesting. Yeah, yeah. Torpedo Rapsmith. This is the place Gigi told us to go to. Get your freshly made torpedo wraps here. Sweet or salty, choose your toppings. Enjoy. It's because he had boots. This should be fine, right? Incorrect. One extra sweet plumage honey torpedo wrap, please. There you go, thank you. I didn't even know they did them like this. This is only available on specials menu. Very sweet and tasty. But one you just bought also tasty. Kiki would like you to savor. Could have told us that earlier. To miss out on the toppings is a grievous blow indeed. And he's still on about the food. You're part of a kinky discord and that's something we've talked about at ad nauseum. What is? Where is this founder person anyway? Near to here. At top of back alley steps. Ethel's outfit. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. <laughs> Wasn't I just over here? Isn't this where the 15... Oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, no. Isn't this where I went for the 15 lights hint? Where's the tribute? Here, as desire, extra, extra sweet plumage honey torpedo wrap. Perfect! God damn it, Nikhil. Gah! Hi! Nice to meet you. Who, who are you people? Who are you people? Friends who help solve clues. Gigi make introduction. This is creator of treasure hunt. Wait, please! Gigi, understand. Celia, always looking outside here. Celia, go out at nighttime and play alone. What Azalea really want is not torpedo rep. It's friends to play with. Er, no, I don't need friends. Nikhil! <laughs> Azalea. Something's eating you up, isn't it? Something sad was it that happened? Nikhil, you should not be saying these things in public. What are you thinking? Will you tell me? I'm alone, I can't get any more lonely than this. Mom got ill and died. Dad hasn't come home from battle yet. I hate being left behind. Oh, that's a sad goodbye to make. My mom passed away as well, so I know how you feel. Yours too? But this is different. I had so much fun today solving those clues, and everyone helped! Maybe one day we won't be together anymore. That makes it even more important to be together now, right? 
Like, if we weren't together now, I'd just regret it later. What kinds of games do you like to play? I don't really know. Okay, then our next game is finding something Azalea likes. I love solving tough problems. Which is why I had so much fun with your puzzles, Azalea. Well, I guess, but... Come on, give us another! Hit me! Uh, you want me to... now? Whoever solves it wins the torpedo wrap. There's only one! And you'd better play to win. Okay, who goes first? Me, I'll do it. H hey, how can I win if I don't even get to answer? That all worked out rather nicely. Kiki, very grateful, thank you. The question of how to find Azalea friends to play with was hardest puzzle of all. Gigi unable to solve this puzzle for the longest time, so that way Gigi get everyone involved. I think it was a nice opportunity. Let's just watch them for a while. Why is that kid wearing a top hat? Good question. Shut the fuck up, Ken. Does Azalea like flowers? Always nice to have more friends. I hope everyone's getting along. Alright. Complete castle access. Okay. Uh, quests. Castle access. Time to finally progress the story. Dunkin' Donuts ad. I love it. Get wrecked, scrub. In fact, in the city you're in, there's no- <gasps> What?! The fuck do you mean there's no Dunkin' Donuts in the city you're in? You can't hear me because you're in the ad, but like, what? Aliens are taking over. Oh boy. Honestly, aliens would probably be- uh, better overlords than the American government. <laughs> Let's be real. Huh. Almost forgot about this thing. Okay, but Nikhil, what do you mean there's no Duncan in your in the city you're in? How is there no Duncan? Explain it to me. Why? The fuck? Pick a better city. Because you live in the middle of the mountains. Pick a better city! You can move anywhere. <laughs> you might have a little bit of a, of a pain trying to like get into certain hospitals. But once you're in and you have been a doctor, you can definitely transfer somewhere. Pick a better city. This is the world that we live in. Like goddamn. Like, my nearest Duncan is what? Five, ten minutes away? Excuse <sighs> me. You miss your coffee. 
Make coffee at home. 30 minutes. Ugh. Disgusting. Hello, Salmon. Excuse me, are you Salmon? Most indeed, and our friend's famed Ouroboros. I hear everything from Monica. We'll lend spare ship to friends, no worry. Thank you very much for this. She good ship. Boundary the name. Friends feel free to use. Whoa, nice piece of kit this. Never seen a real ship before, except in the textbooks. If friends feel in gratitude, can show respect by add Mr. to start of name. Mr. Salmon. Uh, sorry to cut the pleasantry short. Could you tell us more about the infiltration plan? At least ask about first, boat first, meh. Ugh, uh, fine. Salmon explains, so listen up. Surroundings of Agnes Castle under exceptionally strict guard. Nothing to unexpect. Even with most state-of-art cloaking device, approached by Lovness greeted with shooting and shouting and short, sharp landing. That's why we plan approach on route that go around Erythia Sea. From the sea, huh? Wait, if they discover us in the drink, then aren't we royally snuffed? Erythia Sea shrouded in black fog. If you ship to glide along on surface of sea, we'll not show up on radar scan from above. Right, good thinking. Before proceed to explain nitty gritty, we must make ship ship shape. Friends have to help also. It not run as is. There's not enough fuel for runnage of boundary. Ah, so that's the problem. Sounds like you need some good old fashioned physical labor. Sign me up. Simon, happy to see friends so enthusiastic. Could not even hope to carry 300 ether cylinder by own self, so things were looking choppy. The. The. 300? Do we really need that many? Friends must remember, once depart on ship, they're nowhere to top up before land of destination. That does make sense. Sure, but where the spark are we going to find that many cylinders? Not here, that's for sure. We pour all fuel we had into making prototype. In other words, we have to figure out the whole supply chain from nothing? Harris thought, friend. Simon never expect friends could provide alone. Only need to assist associate of Salmon. Would like friends to go see Timna and explain situation. And that person can get us the cylinders? Assuredly, Timna come from one of six mighty houses. Sh yeah, honestly, make Lance carry it all. He probably could. Should be no big deal to part with hundred ether cylinder, or even thousand. What are these six houses? Very fancy houses, and holding a very important people. Alright, we got it. Where can we find this Timna? In Kalem Residential Quarter of City. Great, let's go then. We've made some new friends. Why do you not like the, um... Why do you not like the ship, Nikhil? I hate the wasting part. It's never worked for you. It took you forever to get on the damn thing. Sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> I mean, I've never had issue with the... Uh... Getting on or off the boat or controlling it. So, like, and I'm the one who's bad at games. So, like, what is your excuse? You want me to jump off the sword? I mean, I guess I could, but I don't see the point. Is that what I think it is? Not to worry, just stick to the plan. I 
I could just fucking skip travel. I should just skip travel. You tried mashing, holding, running around. That ship had awful mechanics for your switch. I mean, did you... Hmm, did you take the time to, like, get used to it? Or did you just assume that it would work? We can take these off now. I like that it just appears or disappears from your face. I think we can take these off now. It's very funny. Finally I can take this off. Time for the eye patch to go on. I think we can take these off now. Oh, can't forget the eye patch. Guess we can take these off now. This is an eye patch only area. Phew. Finally I can take this off. We can take these off now. This is giving me so much entertainment and it shouldn't. Guess we can take these off now. Ah, huh. almost forgot about this thing. Guess we can take these off now. Does Mio not have a line for taking it off? I think it's safe to take these off now. There we go. <laughs> it easily could have been. <laughs> it it took for it took a while to get Mio's line to show back up. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes, trying to find one of the six house leaders. Leaders? Or just a member? I don't remember if Timna is a member or a leader. But yeah, no. Watching them take on and off the eye patches is just very funny to me. According to Mr. Salmon, Timna's place should be around here. Hey, hey, hey. So my dad came back from an expedition. Guess what? He brought me a fortune clover. Whoa, I'm so jelly. You have s you'll have seven in no time. Hello? What do you mean I was out of range? Hello, Timna. Miss Timna, we've come on an errand from Salmon. Oh, really? And what might he need? Well, he's found himself quite urgently needing a large quantity of fuel, so... I don't need the preambles, duck. This is Salmon we're talking about. I'm sure he's got a whole lot of guff to sell me. Well, I wouldn't quite... It's quite all right. What's he after? Tell me plainly. 300 ether cylinders. Planning something big again, isn't he? Not to worry. I'll have them prepared. Glad that she was cooperative. <sighs> or well, I'd love to do that for you, but lately the conservative lot have been buzzing around. Such a pain. Truth is, we haven't been able to secure a surplus for ourselves either. The conservative one now? They're the people who don't welcome war, perhaps. Seems you know enough to recognize. Not all of this great city's people think the same way. Some are happy to remain spectators in the conflict taking place outside our door. Not fight, Mobius. Maintain the status quo. They want nothing more than to seal the city's hatches. Build up our defenses. Lots of conservative people like that here. But do pardon an old woman for that tangent. We were talking about ether cylinders. Their lot has been stockpiling more than they need. All just to cock a snook at us. Ah, <sighs> you should get what you need from them. Huh? Didn't you just say you didn't like each other? That doesn't mean there aren't any sensible people on that side, too. You see, so even your separate factions are comp comprised of varying types, then. Well, maybe we should pay a visit to one of these sensible people, then. Please do. Speak to Miori. She's the person in charge of the material storage warehouse. You tell her that the Nophan's needs are many, the conversation should go smoothly. The Napan's needs are many. The material storage warehouse is outside the city. Mind how you go. Understood. Thanks for your help. 
Yes, Cockasnook. I love that as a saying. Not a hundred percent sure what it means. It's so different from where they've got us staying. I dare say being in one of those six houses sets one apart from most of the city residents, too. Side quest is that. There is a side quest that I have my eye out for. I just don't know the requirements for spawning it. Because it it's a DLC quest that takes or that starts in the city, but I've never done it before. So I don't know how or or what the requirements are for starting it. Are you okay? <laughs> Is that bunny digging dog? Up? Let me look it up. On the ladder, please. Get on the ladder, but thank you. Okay, so I have to complete this quest before I could start that one. So cold. Whose bright idea was it to put a warehouse in the arse end of nowhere? I know the feeling lands. I wanted it somewhere that's hard to reach. Not that info didn't leak anyway. I see a container. Well, isn't that something? How did a container make its way all the way out here? Who knows? That's a unique monster, and I'm not happy about this. I knew it! Can I even hit it from here? No. It was put there by God. Technically. Devs, shush. Mio's fucking dead. Could somebody heal me, please? Where's Noah? Noah, come here. Heal me. Somebody. Noah, heal me.
Hmm. Why was Kim talking about? Because of um, there was somebody who said something very sus. We'll call it. So, so an NPC said the phrase "cock a snook," and that sent Tim on a cha uh, big tangent. And all she thought of was cocker spaniels. True. Technically, you'd be sleeping during the day because she didn't go to sleep until 3 a.m. Right. How are you today, Patrick? I saw you said that you uh, enjoyed hanging out last night in the in the call. That's too late for her. Yes, I agree. But that didn't stop her. Good question. Baldur's Gate 3 happened. Look at a fluffy puppy cocker spaniel and tell me that wouldn't be really. No. You're working on it. Yeah, you better fucking fix it. thousand cuts so first off Patrick you also don't go to work until 11 p.m. so like going to bed at 2 30 and let's let's say you are up or sleeping till like 7 30 7 o'clock that's still a good five hours four and a half which is not the greatest, but not terrible. Second. Kim, we're giving you shit because there was a large period of time where you were constantly, constantly disappearing early. Because you had to go to bed early. That's the only reason we're giving you shit. Oh, yeah. We can do this. Sam, please get unstuck. Will prison happen this session? Um, I don't know if we'll get to the prison. But we'll, we'll definitely be, like, set up. That's why I called it the beginnings of the plan. Don't fall, Tyon. Oh my god. Oh, 
Like, when one battle makes you spend like three and a half hours because you want to save everyone and want, not want everyone to die while you yourself is very stupid, it takes a while. Maybe you shouldn't start important fights that late at night. Maybe that's just me. So th that means it was more than three and a half hours. So, so, okay, hang on. If you are having that much issue, right, that you start at seven, you had to get there too. So then you didn't start the fight at 7. planning on doing it. But that is com still different than starting the fight at 7. Okay, so, so... 7 to 10 is 3 hours. 2 more to get to midnight, that's 5. Three more to get to 3 a.m. That is eight hours. Poo right. boy. Patrick, let's not. <laughs> I don't want to think about how bad that would be. <laughs> The sound cut out for you too, or was it just on my end? Fuck it. Okay, limits unbound. That one didn't kill, good to know. God damn. Another container all the way over there? That is. Is that what I think it is? You think you're all that, do ya? Kindly fuck off. Okay, fine. You win. Bye.
I didn't want to fight the thing after sitting there fighting the unique monster. <laughs> and I had just gotten a, a skip travel point, so I was like, mm, yeah. Hey, are you Miori? What? Miss Timna sent us. I'm trying to get some ether cylinders. Timna did. Well, is that all? She didn't give you a message or something. Ah, a message. I don't think I remember anything like that. Right, no deal then. You could leave now. What? Look, this isn't what we were told. I'm a busy gal, okay? Beat it. Hey, wait! Suggest to abandon hope. Did she give Cold a shoulder? Um... Oh, right. She said to mention that the Napan needs his money? Is that really what she said? To the word, to the letter, are you sure? Huh, oh, was it needs are many instead? Yes, now I get it. I'll get them ready for you. Really? Thanks so much. Great success! I see, so that's what she meant by the conversation going smoothly. Huh? It mean this person big Nopon fan. Only reasonable, really. Something like that. So, how many do you need? Uh, 300 ether cylinders. Is that manageable? I'll check. Hold tight. Also, don't let anyone near the storage. Sure thing. Don't let anyone near. <laughs> like anyone bother coming out here without a rock solid reason. Sendo like the faction she belongs to doesn't want any involvement with us. I imagine she doesn't want to be suspected of helping Ouroboros. Hmm. Well then we should give her a should we give her a hand? The faster it's done, the sooner we could be out of her hair. Stay put. She said not to let anyone near. I would assume that includes us. Yeah, let's keep a watch like we were told. Huh? Something up, Mimi. I just heard something. It's coming this way. Not piss. Whoa, check them out. Why are they so big? That's what she said. Let's take them out before things get messy. I'm with you. Alright, we fight. Always nice to have more friends. I'm getting messages from my father on TikTok. Good grief. Uh, probably. I mean, it'd be weird not to. Soon. Yeah, very soon. July. That's why I'm like, okay, Xenoblade, even though it's the longer game and I am most of the way done with Pikmin, I want to try to... I want to not make it too easy for you guys to meet that goal. Listen, I'm going to take a share so you don't have to do it later. That's fair. Let me put it to you this way, Nikhil. Uh, if I made it, like, that easy that you could think about it like that, and it be a thing, what would the point of issuing the challenge be? Gonna be longer because you wash your hair at the start of every work week. I got a ruckus out here. Anything I need to worry about? Not even slightly. Nobody's here. Right. Prepare the ether cylinders. Take them and go. Thanks. Ship ether cylinders 99. Ship ether cylinders 99. Ship ether cylinders 99. Ship ether cylinders 3. Oh, his hair is long. I don't want to fight. <sighs> it's at least down to his ass, I think. And he's taller than I am. So that's a lot of hair. Give me 
some of that sweet ether. What do you mean, bruh? Say the lower back is more accurate. Patrick's. Patrick has long hair. Why does Senna sound like a valley girl? Uh, remember... Do you remember where she descends from, Nikhil? Patrick has a Greek god hair. Uh, it would be if he, if he, like, kept it neat. <laughs> he, but he doesn't always, like, fully brush it. To my knowledge. All right, and we go. Time for a little rest. I try to give it a quick brush before work. Yeah, a quick brush, not like a, a full, completely straighten it out brush. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Also, not quite Nikhil. We don't know for sure who her parents are, but it is clear that she is descended from a blade. And the blades all have some kind of American accent. game is so stupid sometimes. Anyway. That contained room. Does it look like we can get to it from here? Where? What are you on about? Oh, that container. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to get to that. Hey, Salmon. Job well done. Salmon pull all nighter to install. Expect to be ship shaped by tomorrow morning. That soon? Salmon never flounder. Always get job done. Thank you so much. Thank you, not necessary. Salmon is fixer upper by trade. What's that? Ah, this is Ultimate Vessel. Ultimate Vessel? That right. Even Vortex in Raging Great Sea not slow advance. It'd go down in history as Queen of Boats. Still work in progress, but sure to bring to fruition someday. It's someone's dream. Wow. All right, good shit. Turn to the Lost Numbers dorm. Mm, I will go back to the city. Nothing to do till tomorrow morning, but kick back and charge our batteries. Back to the city barracks then. I will be going back to the city, but I will not be continuing the story just yet. Now that I've finished that quest, there is a side quest that I want to get. That one that I mentioned earlier that was part of the DLC. Which apparently needed, uh, castle access to be finished. Where do I find it, though? Do I have to accept it in the expansion pass? I bet you I do. Unless it's just here. Yeah, I have to accept it.
There we go. Lapidaris Extraordinaire. Head to Serene Square and make the acquaintance of a new hero. You can get there starting part way through Chapter 5. And, you know, more challenge battles, but... Yeah, yeah, I, I do like her. I don't like... Mm, I'm a bit mixed on her design. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to her. Anyway, let's head to Serene Square. Again, skip travel is a thing, but the, I I just enjoy walking <laughs> in the in these games. I am sure you've noticed by now. There's just something about like just exploring the world. Like, look at that. That's so cool. I love this place. <laughs> Guess we can take these off now. Please get unstuck. <laughs> Mobile started working again. Hooray! Does that mean you could do your anniversary thing? And the other thing that you were saying wasn't working? We're not allowed to hide inside the memorial hall. Next to be you. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Whatever is the meaning of this? That's most peculiar. There had never been any issue with me hitching a ride on an armory before. Now you're telling me that I, moi, yours truly, may not accompany you. Elder's orders, ma'am. Please don't make things difficult, Miss Masha. You know well enough. I don't have the authority to permit your departure without at least a platoon, for protection. Yes, I do understand, of course. Sensible, really. Given poor Uncle Gurney's horrid plight, heightening security on all outbound transports, are we, Moni, dearest? I've needs, too. Forget platoons. I've a mind to enlist every lost number there is. Would that suit you better? That said, perchance, if you were to reconsider, I would be more than capable of fending for myself. Do you see what I'm alluding to? I'm in no position to decide, ma'am. In any case, I'm afraid you'll have to take it up with the Elder. Oh, I commend your obedience. Thank you. That'll be all. Oh, what a wet blanket. And here I was, so raring to go. I feel as a babe, cast by the wayside, to business. Let's see, how might I foil Moni Dearest's little arrangement? Mm. Okay. Excuse me. Hello. Aren't you? Have you perhaps business outside of the city? Nikhil. I know why you like her so much.
not only is her design nice, which getting a better look at her like in game. But I also looked up her uh, her voice actress. Thank you for the redeem clap. One of the, uh, at, at the very least, the Japanese voice actress. Let me double check the English. But the Japanese voice actress also. Get voiced. <laughs> the Japanese voice actress also voiced um, Mitsuru in Reload. you wanted to accompany us why gosh aren't you a cautious one it's nothing of grave importance i assure you i just happen to have some personal matters to attend to in the faunus region the aegis wilderness to be precise it may surprise you but i happen to have a modicum of skill in battle above that of the average layperson. it wouldn't be the first time i've left the city in fact, I'm rather accustomed to working on my own. But it seems I've been met with some skepticism. Dear me. Pull the other one. You can fight! Her attire certainly doesn't conform to lost numbers dress code regulations. That's about as far from military fatigues as you can get without falling off the edge of the world. Yes, yes, I get that a lot. But I'm afraid my fashion sense is non-negotiable. Only when one pursues beauty with every breath is it that one may validate proof of one's existence. Uh, sure. Eager's wilderness, huh? We might not be going there for some time. Is that okay? No trouble at all. I'm sure you have your own duties to fulfill. I hope you'll allow me to humbly assist you as a concerned and dedicated representative of the city. Well, as you can see, I could not have found more exceptional bodyguards. You'll have no qualms now, I hope. Ah, uh, give Moni dearest my regards, won't you? Very well. All right, people, what say we get a move on? Time waits for no cognoscenti. Yeah, okay, keep your air on. Well, guess you with us for a while then, Masha. Don't worry. You'll be in good company. Masha has temporarily joined the party. Always nice to have more friends. Wilderness is fast. We should make ingress from the Zem's crossway side. Alright. <laughs> it means you're fucking horny, Nikhil. Are you sure? Because you could have fooled me. Wrong way. Alright, Masha, what do you have me here for? Well, lady, we're here. The Aegis Wilderness. Like you are. Lady, I do have a name, you know. Um, so, Masha, what's the plan now? You are aware of the Annihilation events, yes? Of course we are. 
Didn't we find our head stuck in the mud or something? Well, I happened to be looking for a patch of land that was the site of such an event. The Ecus Wilderness, being prone to frequent events, makes it a prime location for my purposes. Except that runs the risk of us walking straight into another one ourselves. Yeah, we better not stick around here too long. Hold on. Tyon used to be in Agnes's survey branch. I think he's researching the area. Wonderful. Music to my ears. There's one old site. The survey branch maps have it labeled as Piento Basin. It's something of a trek, but it might be sensible to head there instead of us wandering around aimlessly for hours. My, what a strikingly valuable piece of information. I couldn't have asked for more. We'll go with you. You don't want to be dealing with all the monsters roaming around here alone. <laughs> a most gracious offer. I suppose I'll take you up on that. So, what's so important about this place, anyhow? A picture is worth a thousand words, my dear. If luck should favor us, you're sure to find out soon enough. Marching straight into annihilation zones. You must have nerves of steel. <laughs> you flatter me to no end, girls. So I've seen that quest line before, but I've not gotten her myself. But I, I, I do know who you're referring to, Nikhil. Travel. Uh, are they fighting each other? Rude. Oh, monster alert. My oh my, what a thorn in our sides. Break. Masha's a healer. I didn't realize that. I don't know how I feel about only having one tank. Because AI tanks are notoriously bad at uh, holding aggro. Somebody threw up a recovery field though, so mm, may not be that. Looked like it didn't last long though. Oh, but it's back. Masha's dead. My, oh my! To think that I would find one so soon! Let it never be said that the fruits of one's labors are not rewarded! Alright, what are we here for, though? What have you got there? Again, I must extend to you my deepest thanks. I would never have laid my hands upon this were it not for your sterling efforts. A mineral? A rock? Looks like a rock to me. Hmm. Those are unusual inclusions. I've never seen anything like it. It's as if a number of different types of stone have all been interlaced. 
on the ball once more, your assessment is absolutely correct. This stone was formed after several types of subterraneous minerals were exposed to tremendous energy, merging into one. Tremendous energy? The annihilation effect. <laughs> it finally clicked, I see. You might even call this stone a new type of mineral. A curious byproduct of annihilation. As it is created through sheer chance, it is vanishingly improbable that one might reproduce it through human means. So it's a pretty precious stone then, is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see now why it is that I was so adamant to depart the city? It does seem pretty special. But what are you going to do with it? Wear it? Not a terrible idea, really. But no, I already have a different purpose for it. In <coughs> oh, yeah? Indeed. Allow me to reiterate before I recapitulate. A picture is worth a thousand words. You know, you're probably joking. But Riku probably would know about this. Hmm. Chosen friends, might I ask you to return with me once more to the city? Indeed, what outcome might this ill-omened stone, born of calamity, bring about? In due time, I will show you. I completely forgot no about that, actually. Let's continue this somewhere all together more comfortable. In the city. But no, yeah, no. Riku would probably know. Without further ado, heavens above, I've completely forgotten. W what is it? I'm so sorry. I failed to mention what is arguably the most vital facet of my identity. Come again? Um, I know it's rather late, but allow me to formally introduce myself. Masher, lapidarist extraordinaire at your humble service. The fuck's a lapidarist? Lapid what now? A lapidarist extraordinaire, my dear. An artisan of the crafts, if you will, in drab layman's terms. I specialize in gem processing and precious metalwork, mainly. But I also dabble in many other types of ornamentation. Ah, huh. sounds like you keep busy. Ah, oh, could I trouble you for a bigger reaction? Mm. Uh, you're the fabled lapidarist extraordinaire, or... How inspirational would fit well in this conversational beat. If anything, I'm surprised you had time to learn to fight like you do, on top of all your other hobbies, I'd say. Oh, I hadn't considered that possibility. Thank you for your honest opinion. These crafts you're talking about, you can make something from that stone. I can and I shall. Let's see. Judging by the quality of this stone, it might make for a fanciful ring. Normally, it's my policy not to show my methods to the general public. But I'll make an exception this time, just for you. Welcome back, Patrick. As the city's hey, Lord Beck, how you doing? How's Japan? Flaunts her artisanal prowess. Crafting accessories. At Respots, Masha can craft accessories using Enigmatter. 
which can be traded for in the Land of Challenges in the Pages Shops. Crafted accessories are different from regular accessories in the following ways. 1. Their special effect is decided at random. Accessory type effects each effect's probability. 2. In addition to the special effect, 4 potential basic stat boosts will also be assigned. Accessory type effects each uh, boosts person probability. 3. The basic stats can be boost that can be boosted are max HP, attack, healing power, dexterity, agility, critical rate, and block rate. Stack boosts will confer reduced bonuses. Ooh, it is 1.30 a.m. Why are you... Why are you awake in here? <laughs> I didn't expect to see you today. Four, only one crafted accessory can be equipped per character. You brought with you a piece of frozen chocolate pie that expired almost two years ago. Patrick. Why? Patrick. type of accessory will affect what special effect it will be more likely to confer. Select the Enigmatter Ring. More likely to have abilities tailored toward attackers. Okay. That's a lot of money. Fills chain, chain attack gauge slightly on a critical hit. Crafted accessories can have an item grade. IG, and can each be enhanced to item grade 5. Materials like Enig Matter are also required for enhancement. Raising the item grade will be beneficial in that it will both strength, strengthen the accessory's special effect and enable stat boosts. Next, switch over to accessory enhancement. Go ahead and enhance the accessory you just made. You just cost me 1500 Fifteen thousand G for a tutorial. Uh, hey, back on evolving food. You have space to craft up to a total of three hundred accessories. These cannot be sold, but you can dismantle ones that you have no use for. By dismantling an accessory, you'll get back some of the materials you used to create and enhance it. Dismantled accessories are gone forever, so choose carefully. Take your party out and accessories tailored to their needs, strengthening the ones with useful special effects and dismantling those that won't be of much help. Glad to be of service. <laughs> Beautifully done, if I do say so myself. Durable and easy to refine. I made the right call picking that stone for an accessory. Mio, I'd like to impart this ring to you. Huh? Are you sure? Never more. Take it and keep it to commemorate our meeting. Wait, didn't you go searching for that stone because you wanted the ring? They do say that curiosity and danger are two trunks of the same tree. What you ought to know about me is that I live as I please. That's really all there is to it. I'm surprised. That's not the kind of mentality I'd have expected from one of the city folk. Yes, you'd think that, wouldn't you? Kim, what the fuck are you trying to sell him on? Kim? <laughs> it's called Aunt Cicada. I hate that. I hate that so much. Why are you like this, Kim? <laughs> uh, I see Beck discovered the Mio emote. <laughs> Patrick, please don't get yourself sick. <sighs> but having different thoughts and beliefs, that's what makes us human. Just as the people of House Vandom march on Mobius, waving the banner of war, 
so do you have House Doyle to stay back, putting the city's preservation above all else. I hate the idea of eating bugs. I would never. But that's not to say everyone who chooses pacifism thinks the way a Doyle might. Myself, for instance. But aren't we supposed to all be working together to defeat Mobius? Yes, I acknowledge that truth as well. It's a thorny question, to be sure. But be that as it may, I simply cannot in good conscience abandon my principles. Even straying from the soldier's path, how could I deride anyone who seeks meaning in life? Who strives for an enlightened future? You ate at a ramen shop that had only seven seats, and you had to walk up some stairs as w that are only as wide as your body to get into. It was the most fire ramen you've had so far. Uh... The city today is a melting pot, one great messy confluence of thoughts. But I'm of the belief that one day they will all melt together to create sweet perfect harmony much like the stone that we discovered incidentally and i'm sorry to change the subject i think i've taken quite a liking to you all and on that note i have a suggestion what would you say to entering into an exclusive contract with moi huh contract for what it would grant you the right to receive my premium services as a lapidarist extraordinaire expressly and expeditiously clearer now and that applies to you especially why her especially me you have the makings of a model mio such qualities are rare to come by masha knows what's up masha knows what's up I'm all for this. <laughs> you are a diamond in the rough, my dear. <laughs> I can see it now. You'll be a future trendsetter. Thanks. I guess. Oh, but I wouldn't dream of forcing you. That would go against my principles. All right, my dears. Might I have an answer? Yeah, okay. I wouldn't mind that. What's everyone else think? I don't see why not. Sounds like a good offer to me. You're gonna make gear for us, yeah? Can't say no to that. No objections from me. Nor me. And you evidently know how to handle yourself. Yeah, I want a ring just like Mimi's. Splendid. Shh. Then it's a done deal. Oh, one more thing. I'll have to ask you to procure the necessary materials for my work. And of course, I'll have to ask you to reimburse me for the labor as well. What? Oh, come on! You're gonna charge us? Some generosity that is. <laughs> on the contrary, I'd be more wary of anyone who offers their services for free. And besides, I pride myself on my skills as a lapidarist extraordinaire. Rest assured that any articles you request will be delivered to the highest possible standard. Satisfaction guaranteed. Yeah, okay. Sure. She's a healer, combat healer who heals nearby allies on critical hits. Can also set fields that heal users HP on art use. Cool. Uh, Tyon is finished. So, what is he a tank? Who can I? What is your rank? Seven? 
I have some coins. I can level them up, right? So... Mm. Yeah, there we go. Let's level you up. NATO... Okay, hold on. Meal's dying within two months. I just read about it. They, they are chicken sausages. They're pretty good, not gonna lie. Basically, all the food you've had has been pretty good. There was one miss, and it was kind of your fault. NATO is not the vibe by itself, but in sushi, it is fire. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so I'll make... You need a defender. I'll make... Tyon uh, an attacker. Right? I'll level Mio up to 10. And then switch her over to Lapidaris. Gonna need to work on leveling up those forms. Yeah, the problem is that I haven't had time to play outside of streams, so I haven't, like, been able to do much. What outfit did I see her in that it was, like, caught my eye? Is it the Lapidaris one? It's the Lapidaris one. Alright, arts. Okay. Do you break? You have break, you have smash. You have break. Uh... Back. I'll protect you. Hang on, I think I'm changing my plans. Uh, I haven't done any of the upgrade hero quests yet. But in general, yes, you I will eventually be able to get them up to 20. <sighs> I mean, I have... Mm -hmm. The big problem I'm having is that not enough classes have topple arts. And I can't do either combo without topple arts. So I need either my hero to be Xeon, or somebody to have either Xeon or, or uh, Lance's classes. Because he has break. He, she has nothing. She has uh, uh, days. I don't think he has anything. He has topple. She doesn't have anything. She doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything. He has topple. I don't think he has anything. Leave the healing to me. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Oh, you're the uh, burst as the talent art. You have break. You don't have anything. You I haven't unlocked yet. You have nothing. Some of the row three classes. Ah, not the only one that I have. <laughs> uh. You. Uh. I don't think she has it. I know you probably do. But that is a whole headache to set up. Level up all skills to max. That's gonna take a long time, Patrick. Best toppler is Lands or Uni. 
So really, I want her on a top of class. Actually, I can make him a defender. Also, one, especially after I do the quest to upgrade. Thank you for the 100 bits. After I do the quest to upgrade, um, capable hands needs to go on everything. I have... Uh, do you have a... I guess I could put you back where you were. I can take care of support. Right? That makes the most sense to me. <laughs> Although you don't need to be this. You can actually start leveling that. 10,000 bits in total for all side quests. Yes! It, I decided 10,000 bits will be the goal if you can raise 10,000 bits collectively. Um... Before I beat the final boss of, of the base game, I will do all of the side quests in the base game. Grace class is stupid busted, yes. <laughs> you relied on that for most of the... Yeah, I'm trying not to rely on one single class or one subset of classes, because in my first playthrough, I had set both... Uh, I had set... Uh, everybody to their base classes except for Uni, who was on Tactician, so that both she and Tyon could have a uh, Shadow Eye. Because AI tanks are a bit hit or miss. Her and the Lancer white haired girl for damage. The sheep's since. If you are referring to Signifer, I don't have the ability to get that yet, I don't think. I think she, I think she's in Cadencia, actually. Oh, you mean, um, Ethel and the, the Fencer class. The Flash Fencer. Yeah, she has good crits. <laughs> like, ridiculously good. Okay, so you did not change. You did not. Why didn't you change? Oh, this is a Kevis class. Shit. Okay. I guess we're getting even more breaks! <laughs> Blessed Age. Heals nearby allies when art hits to a max of 100% of healing power. Uh, slow recharge frontward AoE. Arts heal. Also, Beth's girl, <laughs> for plot reasons, just plot. Yeah! Uh, uh, I don't like that enough. What else? Uh, let's do fast recharge. Makes you want to cry. Yeah, no. Find. You're a healer. Violet Flurry. I guess Dark Banner. Yeah, that'll do. Smash. What 
But I don't have anything with launch. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling, Patrick. Don't need shadow. How long do I plan on streaming? Um, what time is it? It's almost one o'clock, so about another half hour, forty-five minutes, probably. These attacks also boost damage from attacking. But you're a tank, so crash out would be good. This noble taunt, it's... What is it again? A taunt. Duh. You want to transfer money into savings, but you have to wait until payment goes through so you know how much you have. Yeah, I... I again, I know that feeling very well. Break topple days, and somebody's talent art had burst. Nobody's talent art has burst, so nobody has burst. Shoot. Oh, shit. That's fine. Okay, quick draw of his hacks. Fully remove on aggro, accuracy up. Boost damage, double attack for behind. Yeah, that's fine. Base is uh, Yeah, your, your things are fine. Uh, overfall ether defense down. Yeah, that's fine. You... What is active? Are you in evasion? No! Oh, I don't know if you're in evasion. Yeah, you're, you're a sponge. You're not in evasion. And more chances for break. Like you have not changed. Okay. Make it progress. Skills. Uses aggro by healing arts. Adds one of okay. Increases success rate of debuff effects by 20 percentage points. You know, yeah, I'm gonna say. by either arts 40 
fine. You haven't changed. That's a living being, not a sponge. Okay. Listen, Cloud. When I, when I call somebody a sponge, there are different types of tank classes. It's either they take on a lot of damage or they have a lot of evasion so that they just can't be hit. You're a healer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just doing a lot of reorganizing of everything. <laughs> Alright, I think that's good. Alright, to the barracks. There, all done. Okay, I'll bag the next one. I even brought the materials and stuff. Make me something mega cool, yeah? Sure. What kind of blade do you want? Sword? Gun? Fists. Okie dokie. Hey. Hmm? If we didn't have to fight each other, you think that could have been your end? Euron, did you ditch training again just to work on this stuff? Did not. I'm not skiving. I just had a bad headache. I gave notice too. Excuse me? No one did that for you, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm used to doing it. <laughs> okay, it's done. Hold on, is that... <laughs> Who's that? Lance? This one's Uni, and this is Noah. Hey! That looks just like me! Good job, matey! Huh? I love it, Euron. Uh, yeah? Yeah. We don't have your talent. 
All we can do is slash and shoot each other. But you create things. <laughs> hey, so who's this? We know someone like that. Looks like a real tough fella. Um, that's... Uh, it's me. What? <laughs> this is you. It looks nothing like you. Mm -mm. Yeah. Probably. It looks like modern day urine. That's what I want to end up like someday. <laughs> silly, huh? It's not silly. I believe in you. I've seen exactly what you can do. You think he's got what it takes? You're talking out your bum. No, I'm not. Patrick, please. You can do it. Right, Jorn? Uh, uh, I'll try then. I'll try really hard. Oh my god, you weren't kidding about it being almost two years ago. Smiling. Sometimes it's hard to judge, huh? What we're supposed to be protecting. It all gets a bit blurry. Yeah. Even so, his smile was the real thing. We should cherish that. Next time we'll think twice about who really needs punching. What language does J as Y? I know Spanish does J as yeah. H. Yeah, I hear you. I know there are some languages, I just don't know off the top of my head which ones. Who knows? So you saw it? Huh? Your husk. Your own lifeless husk. You've come across it. How did you... Your eyes. You looked like you were gazing into your own past. That's crazy. Live long enough and you learn how to figure out stuff like that. Well, it hasn't been as long as you think. But folk do tell me I'm pretty sharp. No. <sighs> no. How come you don't wake these guys up? Can you use the help? Or is it because they'd just be Mobius fodder? They can't be fodder. If we wake them up here, they'll be freed from the shackles of the flame clock. So why then? Because this is our fight, we don't know how long it'll take, and their lives are short. So you don't want to get them mixed up in everything? <laughs> That's one reason. And the other? People need to learn who they really are, what they have to leave behind for posterity. I want them to wake up in a world that affords them that chance. How do we discover who we really are? That from the husk. Yeah. You won't find yourself there. Huh? You've got to look to the present and the future only. The one in the past, it isn't you. You didn't make that and it's not yours. Make that? But, look to the future and you can build yourself up however you like. You can become whoever you want to be. I can? You've got the power to do so. Be true to yourself. Thank you. That's... Well, that's what my dad always said. Your 
dad. Mm. But it goes for you, too. True to myself. What did you we'll spoil? See. I don't remember. So the, the spoiler tag is only on because this is Kim's first time experiencing the story. So I'm trying not to give her major spoilers. Ah, you saw that. Well, your soup is one of the highlights of my day. Really? Whoa, thanks. I'm flattered. It was just the truth. <laughs> Want some? Taste test? For real? Oh, good thing I got off early. <laughs> I love seeing these guys just interact like people. You enjoy cooking? Oh, it's been drilled into me. It's a ritual now. Can't really start the day without making a pot. I get you. Two months, huh? Since that battle. Yeah. You're tough. No joke. Eh? We heard from uni that you're just like us. Oh, that part. I've been plodding along, playing it all cool. But when we saw him again, I thought, nah, snuff all of this. I'm scared too, just so you know. Since Monica told us the whole truth, I've hoped. No. One of us. I'm one sure of us. One of us. I'm so sure of it. Hard, wasn't it? Hearing that. Yeah. It sure beats ignorance. That's what Noah thinks too. You're hard as nails. What we don't know might as well not exist. It's an obvious way to think, but it isn't right. Closing my eyes doesn't mean evil disappears. And so you go on? Yeah, I'll keep going while my flame still flickers to the bitter end with all of you. You said it. Why is he drinking the soup like a fucking coffee? Did we hear from Monica? Yeah, the ship's ready. Mr. Salmon must have pulled an all-nighter. It's all gonna kick off soon. Our preparations should be complete. Let's rendezvous with Mr. Salmon at the port. Let's... Are you telling me that you've never souped or cereal'd out of a cup? You don't have to drink it like a fucking coffee. Hold on. Before I go. Oh, hi, Masha. <laughs> I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me. Fusion, ha! Huh. Uh, level up. Let's make sure everybody is properly leveled. Except for Masha, apparently. Make sure everybody's wearing some clean clothes. Before you moved, you used to use storage containers for leftovers as your bowl for cereal. Uh, uh, Tupperware. Just part of the protocol, I mean, yeah, if it's a good size, why not? Yeah, I have about a bajillion cereal bowls. Or just bowls in general. So I will just have a bowl of cereal.
usually like two or three bowls before I'm full, but that's besides the point. A couple that I like tend to use for cereal and not much else ever. So I kind of just default to calling them cereal bowls. Can't forget this. Where to for double protection? Uh, I, yeah, you could, but you wouldn't be able to see. Off we go. <sighs> Excuse me. You would not be able to see, so like, kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? <laughs> Off we go, we go! <laughs> Ugh, my bruises have bruises and my aches have aches. Mirrors to train have been particularly vicious lately. The Ouroboros around, I guess they're expecting Mobius to get more rowdy too. What do you mean, small problem, Cloud? I imagine not being able to see would be a huge problem when you're in the middle of a fight against a giant fucking monster. I've been waiting for you. Ship is steady ready. Okay, I'm counting on you to bust out and bring back Gondor. You're counting on us. Count on yourself. You're coming too, aren't you? This isn't the Lost Numbers only job right now, you know. I think you should be plenty capable of carrying it out yourselves. But if you want me there, I'll go with you. Just for the journey, mind. The infiltration is your job. Jansen, you're in charge of the infiltration. Understood. Try not to drag us down, Ouroboros. Worry about yourself. Salmon, tell us the route. Meh. Mehem. As said before, you cross along Arithia Sea on good ship boundary, then go to prison direct underneath castle. Oh good, right through the fog. But here is detail of importance. Even if I'll get there without bumps and bruises, island is surrounded by tall cliff on all sides. Boundary only run over water. After that, friends will need proceed on their own strength. We just have to do our best to climb up the cliffs without getting rumbled? We can climb up them just by doing our best, and that's great, but... First, it can't be done. The prison's in Agnes Castle, and it's going to be more heavily guarded than in any old colony. Right on the money. Before you head for the prison, rendezvous with a soldier hiding on near uh, Vinisog home. Her name's Kisame. She's the only soldier who's managed to escape from Hope's Rest. No, we could see the double protection, but we got a pros and cons it. If we learn about how she managed to escape, we can use that information in our infiltration, is that right? Vinisog home is on the way anyway, so rather than fiddle with janky comms, I thought it'd be best to go there and chat. Yeah, that makes sense. That's all I've got to say. Get ready. Get everything ready for departure. Okay. Alrighty, doodles. Goodest of luck to friends. Wait, are you not piloting us, Mr. Salmon? Salmon is tired after a long night of work. Please do not overwork for Salmon. So who is our pilot then? 
Twilight is inside you all along. Simon can send information of direction to any iris, so anyone who wants a pilot can fulfill dream. But however, if break boundary is punishable by mega spankings. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Fine, fine. Riku will volunteer for pilot. Is that okay? It's easier than working Levness. Riku was our mechanic back in the colony. He's good with stuff like this. I trust him to lead us right. I'm sure, it'll be fine. We'll do our best. This Gondor person in prison is our key to finding the whereabouts of the true queens. We have to pull this off. The castle beckons. Piloting the boundary. Press A near the boundary to board it. Accelerate with ZR. Reverse with the B button. And turn with the left stick. Hold A to disembark anywhere at any time. Where is the boundary? Oh, there's the boundary. Let's hop on the boundary. You bet. I do have some top. Oh. Welcome to the Erythia Sea. I do have some topple. But I don't have launch, but I have smash. Probably my favorite area. Close. This is a combination of the Aerith Sea of Xenoblade 1. And I'm not 100% sure what from 2. The Leftherian Archipelago, maybe? Because that looks very Leftherian, this island right here in front of us. Dadal Isle. There's a lot to explore. Like, a lot. This is where we're heading, though. So... Something so valuable here. But I have plenty of stuff that I want to explore while we're wandering. It's also one of the laggier areas of the game, as if you look closely at the characters. <laughs> That's level 73. I can't touch that thing right now. Okay, thanks. I hate it. Offer a suggestion? Sure. What is your suggestion? You're gonna aggro. Yep, okay, fine. By the way, this is a regular battle theme. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. I'm the girl with 
the gall. It is such a nice thing, and nobody reacted to it when I pointed it out at the beginning of the game, and I was so sad because of how, like, big that is. In a sog home. There were no reactions at all. Do some exploring here for side quests. Yeah, I know there's like two. There's some bleed quests. I know there is at least two in the area somewhere that I want. One of the best plays in the game. You mean heroes. But yes, one of the best things are here. I try. I pointed it out at the very beginning of the game. Like within the first hour or so. And there was no reaction at all. If you reacted later, that's still not the reaction at the beginning of the game. Probably you didn't notice it. Yeah, fuck you. You doing all right there? I'm a little yeah, I know. But you don't need to worry about me. You do that a lot. <laughs> that what I think it is? Like at least once a stream. Hmm. There's nobody here? Puzzles! This is definitely the rendezvous point. You guys take a load off. I'll take a look around. Sure thing. Gorgeous. I can hardly believe my eyes. Is this real? We don't wage many battles at sea, so it makes sense the seas would be relatively untouched. Aha. Uh -huh. When people do die at sea, it's usually due to their foronis sinking. They drown. It's hard to draw out their life with a blade. Putting it that way, I guess it's kind of obvious, huh? A little ironic, but that's why it still looks so pristine. The other half of my reason. Oh, are we talking about that now? About why I'm here, yes. Right? I told you there was a second half. Hmm? It's you, 
Mia. Me? What do you... You want to leave an impression on all of us and the world, don't you? <sighs> I can only hazard a guess at what you'd want it to be. And even then, I'm not confident I'd guess right. But let me just say this. You've only got a little over a month left. We can't change that fact. It doesn't give you much time to leave your mark. If there were anything I could do to give you time, if it were in my power, I would. Not just me. Senna, too. And Noah. We all think that way. Mia? Sparks. You're making me tear up here, man. Oh, sorry. That wasn't my intention. No, thank you. Nimue's doing. Huh? You were even being nice to uni. Stuff like that. Oh. Oh, really? I'd never even thought about it. Let's give thanks, if we ever see one of those trees of hers. A Sophronia? Right. I think that's a great idea. See, but just because they know about the founders doesn't mean they know how to do that. That's the thing. Everyone's here. Good. Is this the person that made it out of the prison camp then? Kisame. Right, sorry to rush you, but could you tell us about the camp? Can. Let's see now. Inside the camp, every prisoner is tracked using identification devices. You need those devices to move around the grounds. But if you go anywhere you're not supposed to, they'll trip the alarm and the guards will come running. So you can't go anywhere without them, but they stop you escaping. Crafty so-and-sos. So how did how did you manage to escape? I'll be honest, most of it was sheer luck. I was working by the western gate when I happened to notice that there were fewer guards than normal. I asked my mates to help, and we got me out alone. In other words, it wouldn't be feasible for us to infiltrate by the same route you used to leave. I imagine it wouldn't, no. In that case, why not drop the sneaky stuff and just get caught on purpose? If the guards figure out you're or Boris, the plan's gonna fall to pieces. They'll just kill you right then and there. At least until you can get information out of Gondor on the inside. You can't let the Agnians know that you're Ouroboros. Hmm. Right. So, we're saying stealth's the only way to get everyone out safely, Gondor included. Since you've mentioned Gondor, we used to gather in the central cell block for morning assembly, so it should be easy to make contact, provided you could get in. Good info, thanks. I suppose we'll need more data points on the prison if we're to figure out a way of infiltrating it. Figured you might say that, so I got busy while I waited here, observing Agni and troops. Seems to me you might have more luck getting information from them, seeing as how I only saw one part of the prison. Can you see that island to the northwest? That's Corn Island. I saw the Agnian transport uh, Balena. Balena? Balena. Balena heading that way. It's most likely a Lebnus from the castle. So if you can access the terminal or something, you might be able to learn a thing or two. And then, there's Thurban Island, to the northeast. It has the Erythia relay base on it, permanent garrison and all, so you won't have trouble finding information there. It sounds like we'll have to accept a certain level of risk, since there was no other way. We just want the info, right? We could slip in and out without getting caught, quick as you like. Yes, I would like that, but how likely does it sound? More data on the prison is important, sure. But it won't mean much if we don't figure out how to circumvent the ID devices. Here, you can use this. This is the device they put on me. And these. These are the ones for my friends who died in the camp. 
Should be enough for all of you, and then some. Thanks, we appreciate it. Jansen. About those ID devices. Mind letting me have a crack? I think I can pull the warning systems out of them. Since you need a few, I'd like to borrow Nisik. Understood, thank you. So with the devices in Crito's hands, we'll see what we can find on Corn Island and Thurban Island. Alright, we have our objectives. Set the island on fire and turn it into fucking Popcorn Island. Fuck you. You can't stop me. I just leveled everybody up. There shouldn't be levels. I don't know why I checked. All right. That's going to be it for today. Is every soldier's duty. Next time, we're going to be doing our wandering around. Only Vinny when? What do you mean, only Vinny? Whew. <sighs> We're going to start wandering around and finding these um, two heroes that I know are in the area. Alright. I'll see you guys next time. Like OnlyFans, but Vinny. Uh, no. Moshi, da da